in the next episode of Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Ralph Klingberg, your host. Uh, it's been a while since we've gotten together for a longer technical video. Uh, I've been running a lot of experiments recently. If you've been watching, you've seen a lot of little things that I'm trying with the control system. And we finally come to some conclusions, and big changes are afoot. Um, basically, what you're looking at here is the wingtip panel of my wing from the, where the winglet mounts out to the very end. Normally, this area has no control surface on it, and that was done for specific reasons related to uh, spin resistance. However, the current configuration, I do not have enough uh, control authority. Uh, despite the size of the elevons, uh, they're just not providing sufficient control authority to have safe flight, or even workable flight in some cases. So, it's come time to bite the bullet and extend the elements out more. And I'm running some initial experiments here by putting uh, these elevons here on the trailing edge of the tip panels. And I'm using foam core board because these are just temporary. I'm going to use these for ground tests. I sincerely doubt I'll fly on these. Uh, if I did, I'm only going to be a couple of feet off the ground. Uh, but these will suffice to help me determine how long the extension needs to be. And, and that's, I believe, critical uh, in terms of the spin resistance of the aircraft. And um, it's an unknown area. It's not something I can look up. So it's something I have to experiment with and say, well, what's the minimum amount that I need to extend this elbow to get sufficient control? And then leave the rest of the wing uh, without any control service on it. And whether or not I have to move the winglet, don't know that either. So the foam core board, I can just slice off pieces uh, with my box knife and make it shorter and shorter until I don't have sufficient control and then we can back it up one step. So this video is going to talk about uh, all of the uh, work that led into making this decision and the various factors that I had to consider and how I actually reached the conclusion that I need to extend the elements. Um, and uh, it's going to be a long video. There's a lot of technical material to cover. So I would recommend that uh, you grab a drink and a snack. Uh, this video could run an hour. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. And uh, uh, even though it's never a good thing, I'll say hit pause. Go get yourself some refreshments. Uh, take a bathroom break if you need. Uh, come on back and then uh, we'll all sit down together and we'll go through all these technical details. Uh, so you go ahead and do that. I'll be waiting here when you get back. Okay, I wanted to have a short little segment here uh, in the middle of this video or at the beginning for my um, YouTube only uh, viewers. Uh, there are basically two groups of people that watch these videos and they overlap some. Uh, those are my uh, patrons on Patreon and YouTube viewers. Uh, and I've tried to avoid this decision for a long time, probably too long, but I finally had to bite the bullet and admit reality, and I'm going to have to make some changes for the YouTube folks. And it's, it's simply this. Um, due to changes that YouTube has made over time, uh, for a small producer like me, somebody who has a couple thousand subscribers, and for this topic, that's a lot of subscribers. <laughs> I've done pretty well over the years. You know, I'm lucky that I have more than 100 subscribers, uh, but I barely have enough to receive advertising revenue, and um, I expected it to grow more over time. You know, there's probably 20,000 paraglider, hang glider pilots in the world, and I figured I'd do better, but it just hasn't worked out that way. These topics are highly technical, and they really appeal to a very small group of people. And because it's a small group, and YouTube has changed their policies, on advertising, uh, I don't make any money on YouTube videos anymore. Uh, in the past, well, $5 here, $7 there, you know, and if you put on enough videos, eh, you got enough extra pocket change to, you know, buy some epoxy for the program. But that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, if I have my standard video uh, for 500 views, I get a dollar, one dollar. And uh, YouTube reports that to the IRS, and then the IRS comes and takes 30 cents out of that. So it's an untenable situation. Now YouTube tried to fix it or uh, adjust by adding the thanks button uh, where people could make individual contributions when they feel that they got some value out of the video, uh, but truthfully nobody uses it. Uh, so 
to spend two days producing a video that makes a dollar doesn't make any sense. To have ad free, but with the ad blockers that people have now that YouTube makes available or other people make available, a lot of YouTube people don't see ads either. Uh, and when you don't see the ads, I don't get paid. So it, it's just an unworkable situation. Uh, I'm not 14 year old doing uh, hair and makeup uh, and have a million subscribers and you know making my 10K a month. That's not what happens here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, have just the bare bones video like you saw at the beginning here for the YouTube people just so that they have a general idea where the program's headed and the real technical information and all the details of the work that I'm doing that's going to be strictly for Patreon members. So if you want to continue to receive that content, if you want to continue to uh, either be entertained or perhaps informed or maybe even educated, uh, you're going to have to go over to Patreon and sign up over there. Now, it's not expensive. Uh, it's less than 10 cents a day. Um, and uh, I think it's only fair, you know, it's the United States. I'm a capitalist. We're probably all capitalists unless you're in another country watching. Uh, but how we do it here is uh, people pay one way or another for their entertainment or their education. And uh, they, advertising usually does that job. And we just kind of ignore those ads and they don't really mean anything to us. And it's not a bother. Um, and uh, the creators of the material, they get paid. Uh, but when you have ad blockers, uh, that's a problem. And then the creators of the material don't get paid. And so then they stop. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to stop this work, uh, but I can't take two days out of my build schedule to create videos that don't generate any income. Uh, so uh, please go down to the link in the description, click on the Patreon link, go over to Patreon, sign up for as little as, well, it's less than 10 cents a day. It's not a big deal, but it makes a big difference to me. Um, it, that money comes in every month. It's steady. And uh, $3 is a heck of a lot better than the fraction of a cent that I would make off the YouTube video. Uh, the videos will be the same quality, and uh, you'll get the uh, full access links over on uh, Patreon. So uh, I've enjoyed having you as subscribers and watching the YouTube videos, and I'll enjoy even more when you become one of my patrons, and I look forward to seeing you over there. So I will uh, bid you adieu and hope that we meet again over on Patreon. Bye for now.